Massive swarms of cicadas are returning to the East Coast this spring, and this group called Brood X have been underground for 17 years. But how many of these will we see in Kentucky? Evening Edition's Kristen Edwards has the answer. Whether you like cicadas. I think they're, they're very beautiful. And I'd like to play with them too. Yay, nature. <laughs> so I'm really excited to actually see them. Or you don't. They're coming. In May and June, billions will come up from the ground in the eastern United States. This after living underground for 17 years. Anything that can bury itself in the ground and come up and there be millions of it just does not sound like a good time for me, especially trying to be outside. Good news for Laren Hamilton. We won't see swarms of them in most of Kentucky, including here in Lexington. Those will happen in the Louisville and northern Kentucky areas, according to insect expert Jonathan Larson. We should expect to hear about people up north complaining about bugs. Basically, uh, there's going to be lots of these insects up near the Cincinnati area in Louisville and then a little further west than that anything along the Ohio River. Once above ground, they'll be around for about a month. They'll mate using that familiar high pitched mating call, lay eggs and then die. That's it. Teenage bugs having sex in your trees and then dying. Basically, <laughs> it's like a big Mardi Gras. <laughs> he says they're relatively harmless, but you'll want to cover any new trees you have with netting to keep them protected from damage caused by the cicadas. In Lexington, Kristen Edwards, Evening Edition. <laughs> well, again, in most of the state, including in Lexington, there will be few to none of these cicadas, but in 2024, it will be our turn to experience millions of them. So hang on, coming up from the ground after living there for about 13 years. They're not ready yet. They're still partying underground. Okay, so many people told Kristen that they like cicadas. She decided to do a Twitter poll, and here are the results. Almost half of them say, ugh, they're gross. About 15% say they like them. 34% say they don't mind their presence. Okay, <laughs> Seth, what do you think? Where do you fall on this? <laughs> There's nothing appealing about a cicada <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> 